And hello. Welcome back to the stream. We are going to start Q and A. Alrighty. Uh, Alright, if you know, have a good one, mate. Tight lines. Catch you later, mate. Alrighty. <laughs> I'm getting a very scary face right now from Jean. <laughs> right, gonna hit the call button, folks. Good grief, is that too loud? No, oh, there we go. Hey there, Jean. Hey, lady, how are you? I'm doing good. How are you? Good. Uh, give me just a second. I have to mute your Twitch. Yeah, sure, buddy. Sure. There we go. Okay. Uh, I need to adjust settings a little bit here. Let's see. Because my mic is actually picking up you uh, when you were talking. So that is a bit weird. Uh, let's see, let's put it there. How's this, guys? Can you all hear uh, Jean? Post it in chat as well. Yes, I guess I have to say something before that. Hello, everybody. And um, lady, thank you for having me. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome, mate. Ah, oh, yeah, they can hear you loud and yeah. clear. Good, good. Awesome. Awesome. So, yeah, guys, we've got Gene with us. He's uh, one of the developers from uh, Russian Fishing 4, and he's agreed to do Q&A with us. Uh, so, if you guys have any questions, uh, are you, by the way, yeah, you are on the stream. But you just uh, muted it. Uh, feel free to uh, send your questions in in the chat, and while we wait for you guys to do that, be gentle, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, am I pretty low? Alright, we'll fix that. And then I will tune that one down a bit. Alright. Yeah, how's this? Is this better, guys? This is a good one. Alrighty then. Awesome. Um. Right, lady. Shoot away. <laughs> Shoot away. Will do. Alrighty. Uh, let's see. Uh, I've been getting uh, like 10, 12 questions uh, in the past couple of days, and some questions are from my own work as well. Um, the first thing that folks would like to know is, um, are there going to be any events? Uh, in game, like for instance, uh, yesterday obviously we had the fourth of uh, July. Uh, will events like that happen now uh, with uh, Russian Fishing Four as well? Absolutely. Uh, we'll have, uh, as as you just said, we'll have a bunch of events, sales, and stuff once we move uh, away from our <coughs> open beta. We need to introduce uh, more into the game. As of right now, you uh, the only thing uh, you can play on of whatever you see. You come in, you just fish. That's it. We don't have uh, any teams yet introduced. Uh, no uh, quests, no tournaments, nothing like that. So uh, once we start rolling those things in, testing them, and uh, basically we'll have uh, a certain view of the game that we already. Um, want for players to enjoy, we'll start throwing in uh, more specific uh, stuff into it. Okay. Oh, that's good to hear. So, um, we noticed that in the past week you guys did two updates. One was a uh, server site and one was a client site. Could you uh, enlighten us a bit what the client site one was about? Because we could only read the stuff in Russian on uh, Facebook. What did it say? <laughs> is that a, a couple of minor bug fixes? Is what is that? Uh, yeah, and then uh, some uh, tweaking. Yeah, yeah. we we constantly working. Uh, that uh, as I told you before, uh, 
Uh, the idea is why, why, why we moved into Russian market first. Well, first of all, it's our basically natural language. It was uh, faster for us and we're using it as uh, a testing ground for whatever we introduce constantly into the game. So uh, whenever there are issues pop up, we try to fix them as fast as possible. Uh, so yes, we're doing uh, mostly at least one or two fixes every uh, patches every week. Sometimes we did it goes up to two or three a day. Yeah. Are you looking uh, for, uh, you want me to go uh, in, in, to, into the details of, uh, of the last uh, patch? Uh, yeah, a little bit. If, if you could, because uh, you said last week when, uh, when we spoke that we were could look forward to uh, this one, Lake Bear, uh, uh, next to last uh, lake. So I was actually hoping that this week, when was it, Tuesday when, uh, when you had the update? No, uh, Monday. That we might oh, see something of this, but so did I because, as I said, I, I promised a, a surprise in in that add-on yeah. with those two lakes. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, we didn't have enough time between uh, fixing stuff up and actually releasing that uh, that part. Uh, so it uh, is coming within a very short period of time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, so one of the questions that I received from uh, from uh, one of the uh, viewers was uh, actually uh, skill points are they unlimited? Uh, they uh, are unlimited uh, based on your level in game. So basically, each point, you, uh, each level you pass, you get an extra point yeah. uh, that you can use uh, for for your skills. Uh, but uh, it's up uh, until you are level 20. Once you pass level 20, you get two points for each point, uh, two skill points for each uh, level. Uh, once you reach uh, level 30, we'll, uh, we'll probably make it three, po uh, three points per level. All right, all right. Has anyone already, uh, out of curiosity, has anyone already reached level 30 in game yet? Apart from you guys? Oh, I'm not sure. Let me check. Let me see if any... There were a couple of people pretty close to it. Alright. Uh, last time I think I saw... Level 26 or 24. Oh, um, that's good actually. Yeah. That's good. Okay, best players... 27. We have three players in uh, level 27. Wow. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, we got a couple of diehard players uh, with us tonight. <laughs> Unubi is yeah. one of them. <laughs> and then well, Pelavinia as well. They just speak and uh, read Russian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can show you the table, actually. I mean, it is... If... Uh, let me send you a link in Skype. Yes. Because I know you're going to block me. No, no, no. I actually have you unblocked. You can actually uh, post right. as many links in the chat as you like. I'll, All right. Uh, I'll grab it straight up. There you go. I've posted it for you now. But the next one you can do yourself. Okay. G uh, Gendrix, I guess. Uh, will there be a fast forward time? No, we're not uh, going to do that. <laughs> Yeah, next question was from uh, uh, iPad. Uh, is that a way to reset the skills? Uh, there will be. Uh, not at the moment. Uh, we definitely uh, will introduce the, uh, this ability pretty soon. Uh, it's, it's not there yet. Oh, right. I, know, I know our players need it um, because we are new. Yeah. <laughs> and not a lot of people know what will become of their uh, profiles in, uh, in months from now. Mm -hmm. Or some of them are just like me, who just accidentally click stuff <laughs> and lose their points here and there. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, we we already had some, uh, 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 for us that do not speak or understand Russian, we already had a few uh, mistakes, <laughs> accidentally uh, throwing stuff away or clicking in the wrong skill tree. So yeah. And I definitely will we'll add it pretty soon. Uh, 
it's, 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 it's a big part. A lot of people asking for it, our players asking for it, our, our Russian community obviously asking for it. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, let's see, because... Um, yeah, I heard, but I, I would love to get confirmation. Is that uh, once we get the translations back in, is that there will be come a uh, everyone will get a reset of their skills, so they could put it in again? Is that true? Uh, that's an interesting question. Where did you hear it <laughs> first? <laughs> <laughs> Someone who came on my stream yesterday. And they said uh -huh. they'd hate that they'd heard it uh, through Pentoffel. Watching okay. one of his uh, streams. There, uh, we're still discussing how everything is gonna play out uh, once we uh, we will release uh, English and, and German uh, translations. Ah, right. So uh, it's not nothing is set in stone. We haven't made the decision yet. Yeah. Uh, because uh, surprisingly. Uh, the non-Russian uh, community is growing by the day, mm -hmm. and we have to adjust to it. Yeah, yeah. Anyone in chat who has another question? Because if not, then I'll uh, hop on to the next one. Um, this was a question uh, also that folks wanted to have confirmation on. Um, there's said, uh, also in stream by the way, for Pentoffel it was, that if you sell more than 10 fish at once, you'll actually get less money than if you sell uh, 10 fish or less at once. So say you've got your keep net filled with 40 fish, if you sell all the 40 in one go, you actually get less money than when you sell by the 10. It, uh, it used to be like that in the game, and our players asked uh, us to fi uh, not to fix to change it. Uh, yes, we had, we still have it. Uh, uh, market dumping, right? The, the more, uh, uh, I'm sorry, I'm actually looking for English words for it. Uh, no, it's all right. It take your time. The more you sell, the less the need. In the market. Yeah, the, the more you offer, the less the demand gets. Yes, exactly. The demand and, uh, and supply. Uh, we have it, uh, but we had to change it uh, because players, let's say not many players understood how it works. Mm -hmm. And it's, we had to explain uh, 20, 30 times per hour how it works. So oh, we decided right. to walk away from it. Uh, we implemented another system. Yes, the more you catch, the more you sell, uh, the less money you, you will be uh, getting for a specific uh, species. Mm -hmm. uh, so we recommend switch between species from time to time. All right. So instead of just grinding chop, for instance, all day long, uh, go in and try to catch these roughs. Yeah, that, that depends what you're trying to do. If you're trying to uh, build up your level, if you're trying to earn experience, uh, this will not affect uh, experience points. Oh, yeah. uh, in terms of a market value of the fish, yes, the more you catch, more you, the more you sell, uh, the less money you will be getting. But it resets. All right. At some, at some point, I will not tell you. And <laughs> if <laughs> no, you don't no, mind, no, 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 I don't, I don't. All right. Oh, well, that's a good thing. Um, but yeah, I, I do understand that whole um, deliver and demand uh, thing. Uh, thank you for the host, Underwater Frank. Thank you so much, mate. <laughs> much appreciate it. Uh, uh, this is a question from me. The Wood Lumber Camp at this uh, Lake Morning Glory, uh, number three. What is it for? Because uh, apparently you can buy or sell wood. Lots of wood from it. Uh, lady, I would... Uh, uh... I would have to apologize, but things that are not in game yet, I I, I can't discuss. Yet. Oh no 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 that that's okay. Uh, just, I don't uh, want to sound uh, like all secretive and stuff, but yes, we we do keep a lot of things as a surprise. Yeah. Um, we hope our players will enjoy them once they uh, experience them themselves. Yeah, yeah, 
Yeah. And so for my fears, I'll uh, try to, um, how do you say, it? try to explain a bit. When, when you're uh, developing a game, uh, uh, I myself used to be a software developer, so I know a bit what you're talking about. When you're developing a game, uh, you want to teach your audience for your stuff to come. Uh, but you do not want to give too much info away because, for instance, uh, unforeseen things that happen that might interfere with the process of creating it. So, for instance, your lead developer gets very ill, very sick, uh, or has a car accident, then immediately, obviously, you got to stop working on that and that would uh, mean that uh, the release will be delayed. So that is why developers cannot uh, go into detail about stuff that's yet to come or that uh, give any good ETAs unless it's actually already finished or like 99% and you're that sure that you're going to meet that deadline. Yes, as a rule we try to keep things um, to ourselves up, up, up until uh, they're already in closed be uh, beta Yeah. that uh, most uh, fixes are done to them, that we check them ourselves and prior to release we, we would always uh, well, not always. I don't want to lie. Uh, most of the times, we do um, tell our players what they about to see. Yeah. Or give a hint here and there. Yeah, exactly. Like the cafes and also like the lumber camp. Now. Yeah, like when you come come up to a cafe, you already know that, it, that there's well, at least uh, uh, most of the uh, players know that. It's there for a reason, yeah. because uh, basically there's an interaction button there. Yeah. You just can't interact with it yet, but, yeah. but it's there. There is there is a reason why it's there, and I believe uh, I accidentally t told you one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Not accidentally, of course. But... All right, all right. I'm You're not spilling the beans on that one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know what you uh, you are referring to, but I'll I'll keep it a secret now. No, it's okay. All right. So it's in... your your secret to share. All right. So uh, uh, the cafe. What will happen is that from time to time you will be able to sell fish at a higher price. Uh, not all the time, but from time to time. Okay, I can probably say more about that. There'll be uh, the cafes will be giving out orders for certain fish or certain um, weight or something in that in those lines. Okay, and so it's a that question. will allow you to increase your uh, silver generation. All right. Well, that's awesome. That's awesome. Let's see. Ratley is asking, uh, Hi, Gene. Thanks for returning. Any plans to add more environment conditions like air pressure, water temperature, depth finding for a boat, etc.? Uh, I'll start from, from the end. Uh, depth finder, absolutely. We, are, we will introduce uh, actually a few navigational um, instruments uh, a little bit later uh, depth finder will be one of them or within one of them uh, in terms of uh, uh, pressure uh, no uh, we will not be introducing pressure as a standalone uh, thing we think it's a little bit um, and the negative side, once you just open the game, you, you, you're you looking at the uh, pressure radar or whatever, and it tells you the fish is not going to bite for the next two hours. It, it kind of, we think it, it doesn't feel right. It, it doesn't feel right for us to uh, give our players a negative uh, feelings right away before they actually even play the game. And there was something else, right? Uh, yeah, in, he said, so depth finder, uh, water temperature and uh, air pressure, uh, that was it. Yeah, okay, so air pressure basically just got water temperature. Uh, it, it, it's there, uh, but it is with, within the temperature that you see uh, right now on your, um, on your HUD. Ah, all right, all right. So that is for this. We're trying to compress. Uh, some information into one unit so you wouldn't get lost in all the controls or anything like that. It's, it's not an airplane. We just keep to fish. Yeah. It's not like in real life you go fishing with a barometer with you that tells you uh, the air pressure. In real stuff. life, yeah, I go fishing whenever my wife allows me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't care what kind of pressure it is outside. 
<laughs> no, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Um, Ashil asks, do things in the shop get cheaper as you go to higher lakes? Uh, some, uh, uh, it's once again there uh, uh, in, in all the shops there's a level of uh, supply and demand uh, sometimes things uh, run out uh, the more demand the, the, the higher is demand the higher the price goes uh, for all of uh, at any place at, at any water body so they basically fluctuate. They can be higher, they can be lower. Yeah, and I can add to that that uh, at the current stage of the game, uh, when something uh, is put back in stock into a store, into a shop, uh, there are a couple of folks that, like some bait, they purchase it by the thousands. So that is the reason as to why it will be run out of stock so fast again. Later, uh, at a later time in game, we'll actually get stuff like auction halls. Uh, or auction houses and that will provide you with the ability to purchase the stuff there then instead of having to uh, to wait for the shop to restock and uh, shop restocking times those were at random intervals right it was not at fixed it, no they are at random and they are at random for each order body yeah so uh, let's say on a second uh, water body uh, there was a restock uh, an hour ago, it doesn't mean that uh, on the third water body there was a restock. Yeah. Uh, Uno says, I've got four questions, but I'll keep them for the end. <laughs> All right, Uno. <laughs> uh, Pixel says, this game is going to be amazing. Love the passion that devs obviously have for fishing. Uh, Second Dave says, just sneak out we, of the house. <laughs> we, we fish a lot. And when I uh, mean fish, we went all around the world. Uh, that's how, um, remember I mentioned that it's not our first game. Uh, we actually been on the market for, let's say, 14 years, 15 years. Uh, with our, another game, the latest version was Russian Fishing 3. And actually, uh, every water that we have in our game, in Russian Fishing 3, we've been there, we fished that water. Uh, so the, the pictures are in the game are from those spots where you you can actually sit in in our game and fish that spot and actually go in real life to to a river or a lake or ocean beach and sit at the same place catch the same uh, fish that that, that actually there in real life yeah yeah uh buddy asks anyone speaking russian needs to help with something buddy uh, feel free to ask what kind of help you need mate and we'll try to help you out I'll uh, move on to... I do a little. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little. <laughs> um, oh yeah, that, that was a good question. What is the system behind the skill percentage? Because not every fish that you catch gives you the 0.0... Uh, uh, 0.2 percentage. So for instance, I just caught... What was it? What was my latest catch? Um, this roach. Uh, and, and what's not giving me any percentage on... Yes, uh, it's progressive. Uh, the higher your level is, the harder uh, is for you to um, obtain more uh, more points, more percentage for smaller fish. If you keep on fishing only for perch or small perch, it'll be harder, harder and harder for you to uh, move on with your level. You you need to move to a, either... Um, more either bigger fish or yeah. uh, size wise or species wise or you will need to start fishing for something not as common as perch oh. so let's say if you move to bream right it's a little bit harder to catch so you'll be uh, getting more uh, uh, more points for it yeah yeah exactly well, I know you uh, you asked uh, or you said it last night, Uno, but I did like to have some confirmation on that one and someone else also, uh, because I was actually sent this message. It didn't come from uh, from myself. Uh, HR Marvin says, uh, will there be a better night light to buy for uh, when you do night fishing? So currently we got the flashlight and then you got the one that is in store already, one for 180 silver. Yeah, we keep on joking that uh, it's, it's 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 made in China. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes, we'll have much, much, much more uh, stuff in in in, in shops. It, not, not only lights, tons mm. tons of uh, things, equipment uh, will be added, including lights. All right. As of as of right now, what we do, whoever have this problem, like uh, me, I don't have that problem. Uh, I don't. Know, I guess. To, depends on your uh, uh, monitor your setting and stuff like that uh, basically what you could do is adjust uh, what is it called give me a second please. Yep. Mm, in video settings oh, actually um, I'm in video settings here I'm trying to get there Settings, the video is the third uh, tab on the top. Yeah, got it. And uh, bottom one, it has K O H T P A C T, which stands for contrast. Mm -hmm. Just keep uh, moving that uh, thing to the left little by little and, and check how, how it works for you. All right. So the more you move it to the left, the lighter your night will be. All right. Good. Good. Uh, buddy, uh, you need help downloading some game, but it's Russian. Uh, if you are referring to Russian Fishing 4, we can help, mate. But if you're just uh, a different game, I uh, kindly ask you to uh, either whisper yeah. someone here <laughs> or uh, ask somewhere else, mate. We're currently uh, doing Russian Fishing 4 QA. Uh, don't mind talking about other games, but just not right now. That would be a bit awkward. Yeah, you say something for a game. All right. Um, is there any downside to drinking too much alcohol? Can you actually drink too much alcohol in game? Uh, not at the moment, but there will be. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there is an upside. You get more experience. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. But if you're terrible at casting, then. <laughs> Yeah, try juggling three rods being pissed drunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hey there, Sleepy. Welcome, uh, welcome to the stream, mate. Uh, yeah, if you, anyone has any other question, uh, I've got another question myself. Uh, would it be possible to get a warning message when your ground bait is worn off? So you, you've thrown it into the water, and uh, I've heard that the rules like between 8 to 12 hours, it will last. But there's no indicator as to when it will, uh, uh, when the effect will have worn off. Same with alcohol. Is it possible uh, to get a warning message, or is it just that then we're tempting the real realism? No, 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 not really. Um, first of all, it depends where you uh, throw it. If uh, let's say you're on that, uh, what was it, third, fourth, the, the one with the river, Vianok uh, location. It's uh, the third water body, right? Yeah. Uh, Morning Glory uh, River, that's the name in English. Okay, <laughs> if you call it that. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> that, that's what we got when we translated it. <laughs> uh, no, it's something. I don't even know the word for it. So basically the snake makes this uh, move right when it, 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 it moves. Yeah. It, it weaves. Uh, yeah. So it's basically a Viva River, something like that. Oh, I all guess. right, all right. It coils, <laughs> that, that's it. Something right. like that, yeah. So basically, this is a river. And uh, the way of, uh, our physics uh, work, uh, we have currents, we have uh, holes and stuff like that. So once you throw your mix into the water, depending where it went, it, 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 it uh, a lot depends on uh, actually where is it in the river it will go downstream it's not gonna stay where where you threw it yeah. like in real life right? yeah. so if you want to fish in front of you in in the river you're gonna uh, want to uh, throw your mix a little bit uh, higher up uh, the current mm -hmm. and lakes it's differently uh, once again dep dep depending on the structure of the bottom uh, the you uh, throw it on top of a plateau and it stays there and uh, goes all, all around right yeah. or you actually hit a, a hole or something like that right 
Yeah. So it's more condensed, stays in one place, mm-hmm. and obviously stays longer. So no, it will be a, a impractical, really not realistic to add something like that. Also, depending on how uh, how much you throw in. Yeah. And once again, adding another um, indicator. We're trying to avoid that. We're trying to avoid uh, making a mess out of uh, our, our screen, your screen, for yeah. In this constant contest, Con- ah, you have to f- forgive me for my um, mistakes, my pronunciation. <laughs> no, it's all right, mate. <laughs> use it sometimes here. The mistakes that I make, it's all right. Folks here don't mind it. They're already used to me uh, sometimes uh, goofing up their language. So, I'm sure, they'll be fine with you. Uh, Sleepy has a more general question. What made you guys think, or one day, so let's make this great uh, fishing game? What what was the incentive? We always uh, knew that we want to keep on going, keep on developing ourselves. Uh... We believe that we can't stop uh, on whatever we achieved. Yes, we achieved a lot. Uh, our previous game, we have, uh, I believe, over 3 million players. Uh, it, it was just logical next step. Yeah. We want to, uh, and plus, we had tons and tons and tons of ideas uh, that we wanted to implement and couldn't do that with our older version. So we always knew we were going to do it. And we we actually uh, we made our team way bigger around this uh, project. Yeah. We found great guys who, who was working with us. We've been uh, working together for what past five six years. Yeah. And it's awesome. And we're not stopping here too. This isn't our last project. So what are your future plans then? So after Russian fishing four. Take over the world. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good ambition. That's a good ambition. <laughs> and then afterward, that run for president. Nah, <laughs> that, that's definitely not our side <laughs> of, of plans or future. Yeah. There are a lot of things we can do, and we hope we will. Yeah. Um, let's see, the chat is going a bit fast now. Uh, Linux Games asks, will there ever be a Linux version available? Is it even possible or did you use uh, only Windows uh, middleware? Uh, as of right now, I can't even promise anything like that. Uh, I want to be honest with you guys. As of right now, yes, we. Uh, the, the, this game is being built uh, only for PC. Yeah. Um, I'm, I love Mac myself, so I have two uh, operating system on my Mac. So whenever I want to play or I need to test something, I just uh, flip to Windows and play. Mm-hmm. Uh, I can't even start s- discussing this uh, topic, because we haven't discussed this topic. No, yeah, yeah I completely understand. And it's hard to say something now, uh, just based on wishful thinking, and then later have to get back to your words. And say, uh, sorry guys, we're, we're not going to implement it. Yeah, I can say for, for certain, it's really not in nowhere near the future. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I get that uh, it's too also for uh, VR and stuff like that. Uh, you mean virtual reality, all those stuff? Not at the moment, no. Yeah. Uh, once again, nowhere near. No, no, not in the future. No. In the near future, yes. All right. Um, I had a question that came from uh, Pelovino. He is wondering if the stars behind the lines in the shot, if they uh, indicate visibility, if they indicate durability, or if they indicate both. Uh, they indicate quality. A quality. Uh, yes. Once again, we have Chinese hooks, mm-hmm. <laughs> and we have, let's say, made in U.S. hooks or made in Japan hooks. Yeah. Uh, quality of your tackle is uh, a lot. Uh, 
how you how you handle fish with that tackle with the rod, uh, your line, your hooks, your reel. The more stars, the better quality, the better company uh, who produced that uh, tackle, and you are better fisherman with it. Something like that. Yeah. Okay. That maybe that also answers a bit of Unabeat's question. He asks why, when we fight a fish after some time, he gets line and we recover and continue to fight, and then he randomly escapes. Is that a bug or is it part of the game? And do we have to figure out why it does happen that way? Give me a second, let me read that. Actually, I'm looking at the question. Alright. And, um, Alessi, could you elaborate your question a bit, mate? Alright, uh, that depends what kind of fish. Uh, species. First, uh, because uh, they fight differently. Same thing with uh, real life. Some some fish are stronger, some fish are weaker, some fish are more agile. Some fish react differently when you pull them to you. Uh, and we hope to achieve uh, that. I well, I can't say precision per species, but uh, we're trying to stay close to uh, natural order of things with fish. How, how they behave uh, based on, uh, first of all, our experience and uh, all the information that we've gathered throughout the years about all the species that we have in game and we'll, we'll have more of them. So it's not, it's not a bug. Yes, fish can uh, uh, basically uh, have another go at it when, right. you, when he, uh, he or she sees you. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, Alacy asks, "How does the game decide if a fish bites and the size of the fish?" Uh, it depends on of wow, so many factors. Uh, what kind of hook you using? What kind of bait you using? Where where it is? Uh, what time of the day it is? Uh, what temperature? Uh, what kind of uh, wind? There are tons and tons and tons of uh, things that uh, influence what's, what, what's going to happen next after you cast uh, into the water. And uh, Jay Henrix asks, will there be other lakes from other territories? Yes. Other territories, other countries, other continents. Uh, maybe, not maybe, eventually we are planning on having um, saltwater fishing. And with saltwater fishing you also got lake fishing now, um, sorry, sea fishing? Uh, yes, that's what uh, actually, I, well, where I live, that's what we uh, call um, sea fishing, ocean fishing, they all... <laughs> Uh, called saltwater fishing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I know it's in here in the Netherlands. It's uh, it's the same as well. But I know in America, you also got saltwater in say uh, the deltas, for instance, uh, yeah, where yeah, ocean yeah. meets uh, fresh water. Then you get a piece of brackish water, and then you get That's... first a piece of um, salt water before the ocean starts. Yeah, the, uh, I think uh, here it's called. Um... Inshore and outshore, something like that. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So you said you guys are fishing in real life as well. Uh, are you actually doing some some serious competing in uh, uh, matches and stuff like that? No, no, uh, no. Just casually. We just have fun. We love uh, being uh, around nature, in the woods, in tents, cooking on fire. No. And fishing. All Definitely right. fishing. <laughs> yeah. Well, you ever—that uh, is a question from me. Um, here in the Netherlands, we got uh, like we, we've got nature and and we've got our rivers and canals and stuff like that. But we're also in the major cities, so like Amsterdam or Utrecht, stuff like that. There's loads of canals, and obviously it's quite crowded there. But we, uh, in the last couple of years, street fishing has actually become part of uh, fishing culture in the Netherlands, and know that it's also part of Germany. We sometime in in somewhere in the future 
perhaps be able to see that as well instead of just uh, a nature environment. Uh, actually, we just discussed this about a month ago. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, we really like the idea and we will be working on it. All right, awesome, awesome. If you ever want to come to Utrecht, you're more than welcome to uh, stay uh, stay a couple of days here at my uh, my place. I live in Utrecht, so you can it's do somewhere. <laughs> if we're there, we'll definitely stop by. <laughs> Alrighty then, cool, awesome. Um, let's see. Um, so that's what I wanted to hear. Thanks, Gene. Hooks do matter. Yeah, they do. Uh, oh. I lost you there for a second. Uh, seems we're back again. Think? Yes, I think so. Let me actually check. Yeah, no, we're still live. Can you guys still uh, hear uh, Jean? Just quickly checking in chat. Ah, yes, you do. Uh -huh. Awesome. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Are the prices for premium or gold? Uh, going to be in euro or in dollars as well because at the moment we pay a bit extra for the conversion for uh, European countries it will be in euro in euro for uh, other countries it will be in US dollars All right. at least this this is what we plan on doing all right is there any ETA that you could give on that or is that also not uh... same same day it comes uh, in English and German language. Oh, all right. Oh, that is awesome. That is awesome. That is cool. Uh, if there's so much planned for the game, how will it, how will it, it? Wow, good grief! Start start here. If there's so much planned for the game, how will it affect the performance on lower end computers? That's what Ashley. Uh, likes to yes, uh, there is a, a certain, I guess, a certain uh, level of what you call uh, lower performance computers. Uh, we can't accommodate everybody. We know this. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, uh, yes, we will try to sh strive to do more optimization as uh, we haven't stopped doing it we, we're trying to do as much as we can and we'll continue doing that but uh, there will be uh, some type of a plateau where we can go below that yeah 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 and i think that has mainly to do with the visuals of the game correct uh lots of things all right yeah obviously also the coding uh, behind it Like uh, the river you were fishing right now, mm -hmm. I actually had to cut uh, a lot of um, nature objects yeah. to help uh, players uh, have uh, at the well, that, that was the fastest way to uh, not deal with it, but uh, to let players uh, play more stable. We'll work things around it. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously and we'll hope we'll be able to introduce uh, those things back in yeah 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 because rendering all those objects at once that is uh, definitely taking a heavy toll on your computer um uh, see when we open the map uh is it a plan to have a kind of cursor to see actually where we are standing See yes, exactly absolutely. The saying. map is going to be uh, retooled, reworked, uh, revisited, uh, redone. Uh, whatever you see right now is just means for a player to understand approximately where he is. It's not because that 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 what we want you to do to guess your location. No, uh, just we didn't um, have enough time to put it in in the map. We wanted to, uh, first to make sure that the game is playable, that the fishing game is actually you can come and fish, not uh, geolocate yourself. Uh, map, yes, it, it, it will be... This is just a plug, let's say. Yeah, it's a, it's a prop. Indeed. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Jimbo, and thank you guys for the follow as well, by the way. I know that I... 
missed a couple of followers. Uh, didn't miss you on uh, on purpose uh, or on accident. I actually didn't notice you, but Gene was talking and didn't want to interrupt him. Thank you so much for the follows. Um, and Jimbo asks, is there structure and obstacles under the water that will prohibit the type of lure that you can use? Uh, not well. I don't understand the meaning of actually Jumbo's meaning of prohibit. Uh, uh, right now, we do have uh, some underwater uh, things that you can lose your lure in, like get stuck, snagged. Yeah. Stuff like that, and of course, yes, same thing as you would go to any other real water body. You throw your lure, you don't know where it is, uh, you may snag it, may snag something. Yeah. As, as another question from Jambo, uh, is sinker, sinkers, leaders and rigs like the Texas rig or the Becky rig or the Carolina, etc. already implemented in game? Yes. Uh, I can show you if you opened uh, your bag. Oh, hang on. Do you have a spinning uh, rod? Yes, I do. I do have, a, I do have to pick up... Uh, uh, see. No, your bag. I. Yeah, I know. Well, I got... Okay. This one over here. Yep. I need to tuck on. Because I got three rods out. And then um, I have. Kick. Yeah, I can show you where the you change. Uh, higher and to your right, uh, the green uh, pencil. That one. Yeah. Then a uh, mortar to the right. Oh, yes. yeah, there's a delay. <laughs> yes, now you can change each uh, position and see the type of rig you can set your rod into once you have enough uh, points. Yeah. As like you guys can see, I don't. Jerbic, uh, this is a uh, jigging uh, drop shot Texas rig. Texas is over there. This one, yes. This is uh, Texas rig. And keep on going. Carolina rig, Vicky rig. Yeah. Uh, that's it on, on this one. Yeah, we'll probably have a little uh, delay between what I see and uh, what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Can be a bit annoying, that is what Twitch yes, does. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we had that problem. I told you I had another um, stream with one of the Russian streamers, uh, I think a week ago, two weeks ago. Yeah. Yeah, we <laughs> kind of was working around that delay a little. Yeah. Uh, Marvin says you've done a fine job. Uh, Thank you, <laughs> and we hope to do a better one for, for in the near future. <laughs> and Jemma says, so in other words, I should not be able to fish a crankbait in grass. You, uh, why? <laughs> well, actually... <laughs> I, lo I, lo I love crankbait uh, in grass in real life. <laughs> actually, yesterday, I've not linked you that video, but I went to the fourth lake for the first time and I noticed that in this small settlement that you got you got two like uh, mud pools in it and I actually tried to fish them because that is what <laughs> <laughs> you're not the first one <laughs> <laughs> I know I know but that is actually what I used to do as uh, as a tester from uh, for another fishing game uh, and I was uh, with that game I was actually able to hook the fish um, but that didn't happen indeed here with uh, with Russian fishing for so what I did then I went to the river I hooked myself a fish and I dragged it all the way back to the village and plunked it in one to one uh, into one of those <laughs> mud pools and then see what would happen then. I was wondering if it would get off the hook. Now the fish that I had on then was too small to get off the hook. But if I would be able to have a fish uh, of a decent size, if it would be able to unhook itself in that mud pool and what will happen then? Will it despawn or will it attempt to roll back all the way to no, the river? It, it would, it would uh, start uh, trying to make its way to, to the water. Yeah. To actual water, to lake or river. Yeah. So it will roll, it, will, it would uh, twist and actually behave like a normal fish. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I know it was a bit cruel and torture, but it was, uh, it was a fun thing to do. Ah, we're not going to tell anybody. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, what are other things I'm saying? Controller support. Uh, technically, you can use them. Uh, 
we haven't uh, made anything for them. So we try to ask people not to use them, but uh, yeah, if it works for you, you can use it. We will, uh, yes, we will add uh, more, uh, how do you call it? We'll, we'll have that option available later on. That's for Gentrix uh, no, questions. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Unabit asks, are we going to have ice fishing or some of the biggest lakes from Siberia, like uh, Baikal? You would uh, love we, to drink we will, def there. we will definitely have lakes from there. Uh, we will... Uh, mm, how would I say this without saying too much? <laughs> 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 uh, once again, <laughs> we will take over the world <laughs> in terms of, uh, of course, in terms of uh, how much water we're going to cover. Uh, how you f fish that water, uh, ice fishing and so on, uh, it will be how it will be, uh, when it will be and where it will be, that, 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 that I will not uh, be able to discuss, yeah. if you don't mind, at least not at this point. No, 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 that's fine. Uh, Jebo is wondering, uh, how much detail is uh, given to implementing all the things that you just mentioned, so the weather, uh, barometric pressure, uh, outside temperature, water clarity, water temperature, uh, determining what type of lure, what type of color uh, to use for the lure uh, that you want uh, to use when you do the fishing. How much detail is given into that? Uh, I, I think everything you just mentioned. Yeah, so it's not just, um, all right, we've got a silver spoon over here, uh, so uh, on light days that one would actually work good, but on dark days that would not, would actually also involve uh, water temperature and... and Depending where you stand, where, where, where you stand. Posi position to, towards the sun or against the sun, or if it's uh, high up in the sky, see if it's setting or just rising, uh, yes, you will have to... Uh, learn your lures which uh, ones work better mm -hmm. in, in certain lights at certain time for certain fish uh, where it is right now uh, it, it all depends uh, on all these um, all those <clears throat> conditions yes yeah fish um, move up and down from one place to another no yeah. those are a shadow the shadow of our avatar does that have any influence uh, I'm sorry, the what? The shadow of our avatar. So currently I'm standing no, here. No, uh, not in, in terms of biting, but more when you uh, pull the fish uh, out, mm -hmm. uh, fish can, can see you, and that's why uh, they, they're afraid of you. They're trying to run away from you. All right. Well, that, that's a nice feature. That's a nice extra feature there. And the uh, flashlight. And, and the, the other light, do they have any effect on uh, fish biting or... Uh... Uh, not at the moment. All right. Um, let's see. What we get? Well, I caught a large fish and it swam around the other side of the lake. I had it hooked for two hours in game time. Surely I would lose it straight away. Well, no, why? You can walk up to the fish, basically down the stream, up the stream, whatever she went. Well, it's, it's I, I strongly advise you against that, <laughs> walking up to the fish <laughs> after, uh, because you can actually break your uh, tackle trying to move through the bushes and trees. But yes, if, if you're good enough uh, as a fisherman, if you understand how to fight a uh, large fish with light tackle, absolutely doable. I don't want to brag, but probably I will. Uh, a couple <laughs> of years ago, I caught a 32-pound um, salmon. Yeah. Oh, oh we lost connection yes, for a second. Salmon really don't want me to brag. <laughs> 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 Yes, I caught a 32-pound salmon with a 3-pound liter. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, it took me 50-something minutes to fight it. I had to cross the river four times. Whoa. 
That's huge. That's huge. Yes, that was. I don't know who was more tired, Salmon or me, at that, at that, by the time <laughs> I landed. <laughs> wow. Um, Radley asks, Jean, uh, could you please explain the purpose of the bait bucket? Do all of the live bait require it? Uh, not. Uh, well, you need you need to have it to yes to to carry live bait. But as uh, I don't remember, was it you asking me or somebody else? Uh, let's say uh, you make a bait out of frog. It, well, technically it's still a live bait, but you don't need anything to carry it. Uh, no, that wasn't me who asked it. Uh, and no, I'm not using a Logitech headset. I actually got a Genesis. <laughs> uh, all right, Marvin, thanks so much for stopping by, mate. And uh, Gemma asks, how consistent will the weather be? For example, if you give a five-day weather forecast, will that remain the same or will it change randomly from day to day? And is it more just an indication of the weather? Uh, how good are uh, weathermen where you are? Uh, the ones here in the <laughs> Netherlands, they're terrible from time to time. Yeah, we have the same problem here in the US and uh, I'm sure in Russia the same thing and all over the world. Uh, I would probably want bad uh, my rods <laughs> and the <laughs> five day forecast staying the the way you saw it yeah. yes um, then we will be adjusting it for sure a little bit uh, there are some uh, a little problems that we found uh, so we're working on it uh, we'll see how it plays out yeah. Uh, well. <laughs> bye bye new roll hello expensive bucket yeah uh, Uno was asking for my uh, my rig so I quickly uh, put in a comment to show uh, show my uh, settings um, oh yeah a question from me and that, that's just with uh, the game I get a lot of questions uh, ask on uh, what server I'm playing on now when I log in I I do not pick out a server I just hit the uh, automatic uh, button mm -hmm. Is there a way for me to learn when I'm actually already like currently I'm uh, live and I did do the whole automatic thing? Uh, is there a way for me to check on what server I am? Uh, no, not at the moment, but we will uh, allow uh, allow that option in in the future. Uh, all right, all right. Good. Um. Oh. I think well. I'm, I'm having, yeah, I think I'm having problem with uh, my headset. Well, it's not a bigger problem, but it keeps dropping me for a bit, for a second or two. I'm back, right? Yeah, yeah, I can hear yeah. you loud and clear. I'll see. I just hear a beep for one second and I hear you continue to talk. So. Yeah, that's, that's the problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright. Um, I know that a lot of folks, uh, this is, I think, something we talked about last week already as well. Okay, lady, I love you. Uh, bye bye. I love you too. Bye bye. See you later, Linux. Um, water visuals. Is there any. Um, I'll, I'll just, just ask a whole question, just stating a word. <laughs> uh, water clues. So, for instance, uh, uh, mud clouds and uh, bubbles. Uh, fishtail slaps and stuff like that um yes yes we will be adding the all those features yes yeah i could call them like that uh the lakes the, the, the nature everything around the uh, player around the fisherman uh will be uh life yeah. will bring more life to it all right all right there will be fish, yes, splashing, jumping out, uh, swimming by. There is going to be ducks landing near you or uh, bobber. Yeah. Yeah, and like does that. that also include, for instance, because like, currently uh, we can already see a lot of difference between uh, separate species when they're fighting you. But for instance, mm -hmm. one thing that we're uh, at this moment, uh, I would say also myself, uh, missing is uh, when we hook a pike, we can actually see on the tip of our rod that it's doing its head shake. Or at mm -hmm. least it, it twitches. Uh, what I believe will be the head shake. But he's not actually breaking surface. He's not jumping out while they're famous oh, for doing Oh, you were that. to... Okay, I got you. No, no, no. Okay. I was also talking about just random water clues when you're not fishing. But uh, also some 
uh, yeah, like for instance, the yes, bike. Yeah, that, that, that's a part of it. That's a part uh, of that, uh, the whole structure that we're uh, going to introduce into the game. Yeah. Uh, the fish uh, that does that will do that. Let's say uh, if, you, if you're going for, well, we don't have bass right now, but uh, let's say you're going for a large bass, right? Uh, they love to jump out of the water. Yeah. It's actually bad for you. If you get him to jump, because uh, <laughs> your uh, percentage of losing him is way higher when yeah. he does it. Yeah, exactly. And we've parked the same thing. When they jump out and they do their head shake at a moment, uh, nine times out of ten, it's gone. We'll, we'll definitely try to make it look good, though. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Uh, Jimbo says, fishing in real life is based on feel and sight. To let you know what technique you're using, uh, your lure, well, a graphic representing the lure to indicate what is uh, what it is doing in the water to be added. Wow, good grief, Jimbo. <laughs> Will a graphic be added to represent the lure and uh, that indicates what it is doing in the water? I, I understand where that uh, question is coming from. Uh, no, not the way you saw it. Uh, we, once again, we're trying to avoid more uh, uh, on screen graphs, uh, indicators, or something like that. You actually, uh, if you catch that uh, retrieve, let's yeah. say, right, you're the, uh, like jigging or touching the bottom, it will show uh, right on top of your um, indicator. It will actually show here. Yeah, like, well, it, right, they, right, right now there. it popped. I yeah. don't know if you saw it or not. Yeah, I did. Yes. Uh, so basically, once you learn how to repeat it, once you get, yeah, right now, also, it was saying something. Uh, since you, uh, what are you fishing there? With the barber, right? Uh, so it the, basically. This is the barber, and this is the telestake. Uh, 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 it probably says something uh, like uh, it's moving with the with the current. Yeah, that is what I figured. That uh, N uh, was N O and then something, and sorry, I had to mute myself uh, for a second now. Um, and what it says uh, two words uh, it's actually, and the first one starts with a K A. Uh, I think it's a C or a P, and then another A. That actually means that your uh, bait or your lure hit the bottom. Yes, there is uh, th there is one like that. There is uh, uh, a jigging step, I guess the translation would be. Yeah. Whenever you retrieve your stop, retrieve your stop, you need to find that balance. Uh, once again, depending if you're fishing against the current or with the current, uh, those stops and uh, and uh, reels in uh, will, will vary. Yeah. Uh, yes, Gendrix. Uh, Gendrix, yes. I'm sorry if I'm not pronouncing your name right. Uh, I am using a lunch attack. Jimi Hendrix, that is what. <laughs> That's his name. Um, let's see, a French random guy. I know as a real life fisherman uh, that some fishes are nibbling a long time, but a Russian fishing for sometimes tenches or carps are nibbling one or two hours in game. That is way too much in his opinion. Well, there, uh, there is a saying, there, uh, as, as many people there are, the, the, as many opinions. Uh, if, let's say, a uh, trench or carp wouldn't do that, uh, probably you wouldn't know there is a trench or a carp. And there is only a certain amount of uh, ways we can implement that uh, nibbling, as you uh, call it. And we have a lot of fish. Uh, they... Uh, the way they bite, uh, it, it differs from species to species, and plus it differs uh, between, uh, let's call it, weight categories. Yeah. So I've noticed on the um, leaderboards that on, on some lakes it shows species, but uh, no one has caught them yet. Is that because simply they've not found it yet? We've not found uh, that, it yet? That depends uh, what, uh, what line you're choosing to view. 
on a leaderboard. Yeah, I was wondering so, if, if the fish are already in game or if it's just that. Um, uh, whatever you see, someone not uh, all, yet. All, all the species you see uh, in the leaderboard, mm -hmm. they're in game. All right. All right. Uh, Uno asks, is the time in game going to pass more slowly or is it going to be kept like it is? Uh, we tried many different variations. We, uh, as of right now, this is the most uh, uh, optimal that uh, we find. So uh, right now we're sticking with this. All right. Uh, I know a lot of people, well, at least in the Russian community, Russian players, they uh, keep on uh, asking to <clears throat> make a day longer. Mm. But they keep forgetting that the night is going to get longer. The winds are going to get longer. The rains are going to uh, get longer. The storms are going to get longer. It's not only just day. If we make it longer. Yeah. Yeah, and if you make it shorter, it would go too fast. And then yep. folks start to complain again about time uh, moving too fast. Uh, there are always people who... Yeah. <laughs> I've got a saying... not like it one, <laughs> one side or the other. <laughs> yeah, indeed. But... Yeah, you can't please everybody all of the time, but you can please Absolutely. some folks some of the time. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Do you guys have any more questions, folks? Uh, Jim, maybe perhaps uh, could you uh, tell something about the stuff that you guys are working on right now, next to the translations? Well, once again, yes, we have uh, those two new water bodies. Uh, the last one is... Uh, 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 it was in test for the past two weeks. Uh, we added a couple of new fish there. Yeah. Species. And they're being tested right now. Once done, it's, uh, it's going to be introduced in the game. What else? Of course, the navigation stuff we're working on because we understand that, let's say, once you, you're, you're in in, um, in a boat, you need some type of uh, equipment to be more effective. Yeah. Uh, Obviously, quest tournaments uh, uh, probably uh, sooner rather than later, uh, exchange, auctions, stuff like that. Yeah. Oh yeah, that reminds me, uh, at the moment, uh, at least on the, on the lower levels, um, you can easily catch fish when bobber fishing or bobber fishing and feeder fishing, but with spinning, it is actually quite hard in the beginning. Will that be a bit more balanced, or is that done on uh, on purpose? Well, spinning is not. Uh, let's say you fish, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do. Uh, I do both for predatory experience. fish and uh, active carp fishing. I pen fish carp. Uh, imagine you didn't. Uh, you came to the lake, and uh, I would give you a spinning uh, rod, couple yeah. of lures. Right now, knowing things that you know, do you think you'll be successful as a starter spinning uh, fisherman with zero knowledge, zero experience? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's true. And if, in all honesty, when I'm doing my spin fishing, I'm catching less fish in real life, uh, just as well as when I would be bobber fishing. Because with bobber fishing, you can add ground bait and all that kind of stuff, and it just attract fish to watch you. Just I was spinning to to me, I love sp uh, spinning fishing. This, yeah, me too. This, this, this is my thing. Uh, I'm talking about, uh, yeah, in real life. Yeah. Uh, I haven't held a floating rod or uh, or a feeder in, in years. I love spinning fishing, and I love it for, for that specific reason, that uh, it actually turns uh, for me into a hunting. Yeah. I love to move, uh, I love to find fish, hunt it, and once uh, you land it, it, it brings us that another level of enjoyment. I guess, at least for me, this is absolutely my personal uh, view on things. Mm -hmm. I know there are people who love uh, float fishing, who yeah. love uh, and fishing. fishing and the, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> hey, Storm's doing good, mate. Doing good. We've got Jim with us. He's uh, one of the developers from our Russian Fishing Forum. We're having our Q&A today. 
Um, Cycle Life asks, will there ever be a heavy match rod for the bigger fish instead of us investing into uh, or in a feeder rod? Uh, there is one, I think, no? Uh, depending on, uh, sometimes you have to move to a, a higher location, to the next location, to see more stuff in a, uh, in, in, in a shop. Uh, so, the uh, more experience you'll be getting, the higher level you'll be getting, we'll be moving to new locations, we will be adding them uh, constantly. Uh, there will be more uh, items for you to use. No. Yeah. What would be the number one advice you'll give a brand new player? Guys, enjoy, have fun. That probably be my number one advice. And then uh, don't uh, don't don't rush to the next level, to the next water body. Uh, learn your tackle, uh, learn your fish. You'll lose less. You'll earn more. You'll be more relaxed. You'll be able to afford more. Uh, and based on that, the whole experience is going to be absolutely different instead of, uh, let's say, if we take a player who rushed himself to level 20, has access to all those water bodies, uh, but c can't fish them because he's there with a four kilogram rod. Yeah. And that's actually interesting because we actually had that discussion yesterday during the stream. Where uh, we got seem to have two type of players. We we've got the casual players like myself, uh, just take their time uh, discovering the lake, discovering what works, what doesn't. And then we've got another group of players that just likes to rush through, get as high as level as can be, and they actually purchase premium uh, just to to give themselves an extra edge and unlock uh, the, the the highest lake at the moment and so on and so forth. Um, we we were uh, talking about. Yeah, yeah, because and prob of it. probably uh, based on a lot uh, of games right now, right on yeah. the market. Not, not, not. Uh, I'm not uh, just saying fishing games or hunting games or just games. Uh, that's what you usually do in a game. Yeah, you get higher, you get better, and then game ends. Yeah, then it becomes. Now you beat the game. And, yeah. Yes, it, it's no fun. We designed the game in such a way that uh, even if you buy everything, if you invest, I don't know, $10,000 mm -hmm. into it of real money, it will not gain, give you a lot. No. Yeah, you'll have those golden rods, but you won't know how to use them or uh, what to fish for. And once again, uh, it's we do not stop just on... Um, fishing process itself uh what we feel uh that uh, once we introduce teams tournaments that will be uh another level where uh, players will get into it they'll start competing with each other teams on teams and stuff helping each other and it'll be not not just fishing so sometimes you can have the best rod in the world and the guy next to you with the bamboo stick can have a fish here just yeah. because he's been fishing this uh, river or this lake or this bank for 20 years. Yeah. yeah. So th th that's our goal. We, we're not here for uh, players to enjoy our, our game a week or two a month. We're here to make sure our players enjoy it for years as they, as they did before with the previous uh, uh, versions. Yeah. That's our goal. All right. So, Ratley asks, I'm curious, do you plan to add more tools to collect baits, such as bug nets or bait traps and stuff like that? Uh, we do plan to add uh, a lot, a lot, a lot of different stuff into in-game. In, in uh, I won't be able to discuss, uh, to, to tell you exactly what it's going to be, or what it won't be, or when it's going to be, but uh, let's say what you see right now is not even 30% of what we have. All right, all right. Um, and we're not stopping on what we're having, we keep on uh, making new, uh, developing uh, new uh, 
new things for the game. No, oh, I think I lost the fish that. Um, Jemro <laughs> asks, <laughs> uh, need to scroll up a bit. Uh, we were talking about spin fishing earlier, and he says, um, quickly, scroll up. Uh, when you say spin fi uh, spinning fishing, do you mean all lure fishing, or do you only like spinning rods and reels and not the bait casting rods and reels? Um, need to recall that previous question. In in yeah, I got it. Uh... Actually, uh, a couple of years ago, yeah, rods and reels. Uh, I do believe that uh, with what I do when I fish, uh, most of the times it's the basically spinning and uh, bait casting. These are tools. Tools are used for certain uh, job. If I have a job for bait caster, yes, of course I'll, I'll be using a bait caster instead of a, sp a spinner uh, rod. If uh, I have to finesse myself in front of a uh, summer bass, I'll probably use a spinning rod that I can uh, throw a extremely ultra light, uh, let's say, a vacuum setup in front of him yeah. that I cannot do with a bait caster. Same thing applies to the game. Uh, your rods are your tools, your, uh, your tackle are your tools. Just have to understand how they work and why you should do one thing with one run and a rod and uh, the other thing with, the, with another. Mm -hmm. uh, Unu likes to know, is there a way to control the landing net or maybe to improve it? Uh, you won't believe it, uh, but it's already improved compared to what it used to do. Uh, and actually, people don't like what we changed, but they are, uh, <laughs> what it did, <laughs> you could be... Uh, <laughs> there was always that smart player, right, that uh, figures a thing or two out. Yeah. So basically, he was sitting in the middle of the lake in the boat uh, with a four kilogram rod uh, catching uh, 15, 20 kilograms carbs. <laughs> we were very interested how he did it. Yeah. Uh, with, the, with the landing net. <laughs> <laughs> As, uh, he would throw, <clears throat> yeah, he would throw uh, a uh, float right next to the water within reach of a uh, landing net. Yeah. And as soon as car bites, he wouldn't even set the hook or anything like that. He would just stick out the landing net and grab the car with it. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, we had to uh, work around that. Uh, right now, this is the way it's uh, implemented. Most likely, we will get back to this, but uh, we do have more... Uh, pressing issues at the moment. Uh, the, the most important right now is, of course, optimization. We want to actually give uh, players uh, an ability to play our game even without spending top uh, money for for their equipment in terms of uh, computers and video cards and stuff like that. Yeah. Ooh, I'm getting a whole lot of questions. I need to scroll there, guys. Give me a second. Um, t -t 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 fr yeah, French random guy. If I buy a 50-year premium, how can I be sure that you devs will make updates until I reach 93 years? <laughs> <laughs> I think that... <laughs> uh, that 50-year premium is more of... Oh, true... we lost you there. We lost you there I, for a second. I, I, yeah, I, I stopped talking. Yeah. Because I also heard that clicking sound. Uh, yes, uh, the 50 years of premium, I mean, it, it's more of a joke than we don't really ex expect anybody to buy it. We will uh, update the game, add new stuff. We will man maintain the game as long as people like it and play it. Uh, same thing as we do with our previous uh, versions. Mm -hmm. There are 
hundreds of thousand people are playing uh, Russian Fishing 3 right now as we speak. Oh, wow. Um, they're That's they're getting updates, they're getting new new lakes, new uh, rivers. Actually, well, they don't know about it, but we're about to make a new update for them also with a whole bunch of new stuff. Yeah. People want to play, will definitely support the game 50 years, 100 years. Well, I'm not going to say for 100 years, I'm still hoping for 50. 50, I can squeeze in. Wow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, uh, one question that I missed. Sorry, Jumbo. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh. Okay, I lost you on uh, one question. Yeah. Uh, Jumbo wonders also um, if fishing is completely random and migratory, or if it's spreadsheet fishing, like we well, use with other games? That depends on your spreadsheet. Yes, you can spreadsheet it, but uh, damn, it's going to be a very long and tall and wide spreadsheet. Yeah, and that's you'll because to, it's not uh, just the weather. And yes, you will have to an, a, a, account for, uh, first of all, preferences of uh, species and, and uh, certain sizes within the species. Yes, let's say bream, right? We know from life that it lasts, uh, during the day it stays in, in deep, right? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, during the night it comes up to, to, to a shore. Uh, if it's a rocky shore, it, uh, he will be eating one thing. If it's a sand, sh uh, sand plateau, he will be eating other thing. But then, uh, we, if we start adding uh, temperature, uh, winds, so the weather itself, was it sunny, is it sunny, do you have a full moon, do you have a half moon, and once again, that spreadsheet comes out into, I don't know, a pretty big spreadsheet, right? Yeah. You could absolutely learn about the fish, and this this is what we hope our place will do. They'll get more experience, they'll learn how fish behaves, when, and with time, you will certainly be able to predict. Uh, where you go to for a certain fish, what you need to use, or at least limit that um, you don't have to like you, you don't have to bring a hundred uh, different baits with you. You need only three or four because you already uh, know out of your experience that this is uh, these are three or four baits that uh, I'll catch fish with, not thirty or forty in a certain situation, right? In a certain um, yeah given condition. Uh, let's see, let's see. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> uh, another one from Jembo. So far, the fishing... Oh, no, hang on. Next one. He actually paying you a compliment. So far, the fishing game is that's fun and enjoyable and gives a realistic feeling. I just need English version and Louisiana freshwater and saltwater fishing added. <laughs> Working on it. <laughs> very, very hard, I promise. <laughs> uh, and then his, his uh, other question. Uh, for spinnerbaits and such, will the blades be separate such that we can add the shape and color of blades that we want and add blades to jig hats to make beetle spins out of them? Oh, you'll be able to do more than that. Yeah. No. Yes. Yes, and, and you will be able to do more than that. Oh, awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Um, and Jimbo, that question we, we already covered. At the moment, there are no plans for VR. Um, hey, Max Fress. Welcome, buddy. We are having a uh, Q&A with uh, Gene. He's uh, one of the developers from uh, Russian Fishing 4. Um, so, um, will we get more um, baits added to the game? For instance, one yeah. stuff that I'm yes. missing is uh, usage of beans. Yes, beans. Oh, yeah. I need to try yeah. those ones. <laughs> yeah, just just the white beans, and you got uh, the black ones. And uh, here in the Netherlands, we actually call them uh, capsizers. Uh, not, don't recall the English translation. Uh, I'll look it up later on. Um, but yeah, white white beans are great for fishing uh, carp here in uh, in the Netherlands, and um, 
um, the small piece, not not the big ones, but the small piece. You know what? Uh, once we add uh, the Netherlands, mm -hmm. I promise we'll, we'll add beans <laughs> and call them Lady Bean or something like that. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> but uh, to your question, yes, we will introduce more baits, more rods, more more everything. Yes. We just started. We basically we uh, unloaded and and this just a starter, basic version of what what is to come. So just, once again, it, we've been online for what a little bit over a month. Yes. Exactly. Uh, I, I just saw a fish run away from you. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. I picked it up, and he was on it, and but before I had out of the water, it got off. Well, I didn't get the uh, message that it was off, but yeah. It could have just been moving after your uh, your bait when uh, you were pulling it out or something like that. Yeah, it could have be. been chasing a bait. Uh, he did move the bobber, so that is why I made a pick up. Oh yeah, that's uh, a question that I've got as well. So uh, here with match rot, but also with feeder rots, we obviously when you set it down, uh, like so, uh, with Y you can uh, put some tension on line and set it tight. Uh, would it also be optional to have another key bind it that you could actually give it some line so for instance I'm doing this and now it obviously uh, pulls yeah, it out hit, too much hit hit enter open your uh, uh, bail. Of enter yes enter opens and closes your bail yeah but do I need to pick it up then again or just close the bail uh, again no I do think I need to pick it up then now I was talking about um, so now I've Put it too tight. Okay. But I need to actually first manually pick it up. Well, in real life, I would not pick it up. I would actually grab the rod uh, midway oh, and then yeah, yeah, attempt it, to it. drag some out of it. Uh, well, we might think about it, adding something like that, but it's not going to be uh, in the near future. Yeah. It's not hard to. It's not hard to make. It just uh, once again at Right now, we have way more pressing issues yep. that we have to work on uh, for players to be uh, more comfortable. We understand that uh, it's, it's, and I hope our players understand that we are in open beta. Uh, things may not be as comfortable as uh, we would like, as you would like. Yeah. You broke up again. Uh, as I would like, yeah. indeed. Yeah. Uh, so basically, yes, we're trying to get more comfort into game, mm -hmm. uh, and it seems like a pretty good uh, option. Yeah. So I'm sure we'll work things around it. No. Um. Uh, Jumbo, no, I believe uh, in terms of uh, we're giving info about the weather and the rest of it. Uh, we try, we will try to avoid, uh, as I said before, cluttering the hub. Yeah, cluttering the hub. Yeah. Uh, storm's warning. Uh, the English version might, and that one's coming up uh, between end of August and end of September, so two to three months. Yes, we're hoping. Yeah, hoping. Uh, to, to be honest with you, I'm looking at the translation uh, translations every day, checking them. So uh, it, it's in the works. Uh, guys are doing a great job, whoever does it for us. So uh, every day we're closer and closer to English and German uh, languages. Yeah. Versions, yes, you're right. Uh, she asks, do you plan on increasing the durability of tackle? Do we plan on increasing the durability? Uh, the, once again, uh, the better quality of the tackle, the more durable it is. So you have to pay attention to that. And uh, there's also uh, stuff that 
you you as a player already can make yourself it's more durable there will be more stuff uh, that you as a player will be making that probably i uh, would guess be more durable too no Uh, let's see. Uh, let's, thank you so much for the follow, mate. Much appreciate it. Um, I've run out of questions. Does any of you have any more questions left for Jean? And Jean, do you have something to add? Uh, I can add uh, one thing. I really hope that it's not our last time. No. It is our first time. Yeah, definitely but, first. Uh, de de definitely, we will try to do that more often, and I hope once the English version is released, uh, uh, we'll we'll do that mo more often. Yeah. Uh, as as we do on, on the Russian-speaking uh, market. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay, guys. Uh, I, if you don't mind, lady, it, uh, we've been what an hour and a half together. Yeah. I hope. For, for 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 starter, I uh, answered as much as I could probably <laughs> yeah. at the moment. Uh, so I would probably take another one or two questions, and we would that I'd like to. Then we're going I to guess, conclude uh, it for today. End it for today. Yeah. Go relax. You see a family. Yeah, Spend exactly. some time with them. Yeah, yeah, that's very important as well. Uh, Sleepy asks, what are your media links? Oh, Sleepy uh, asks, what are your media links? And that is what? Um, I think you mean uh, social links, Sleepy, could you elaborate a bit? Uh, my personal social links? <laughs> um, to be honest with you, I'm not a big fan on uh, giving that up, but uh, you could probably find me, I will not fr friend you. Hello. Yes. Yeah. I I would friend a lady, uh, he... but we already know each other. <laughs> yeah. Now he he means for the game. <laughs> for the game, I. Uh, I can actually uh, give that to I you will, guys. I'll I'll make well. sure that uh, this information is is uh, accessible uh, by the time we re release uh, the English version, English and German. All right. Yeah, because your Facebook page currently um, is actually the uh, Russian one. Yes. Yeah. Uh, All right. Uh, I'll change that into English. Yeah. Which, uh, once we really and that really is uh, is the Russian one for you guys. Yeah. Once the uh, English version will be released, I'll change that uh, page uh, to English. Yeah. For English uh, players, yes. No. Uh, Bo uh, has a small request, which is. Um, give me a second. I need to get uh, this one in. Yes. Can't put it on. Oh, oh, get in the basket, you. There you go. Um, you. He has a small request. Adding a cheap blue or white bobber will help you f uh, visually impaired and colorblind plays greatly. Uh, oh yeah, that that's correct indeed. Um, that was something that I forgot. Um, but indeed, uh, colorblind players they sometimes have difficulties uh, noticing the differences. Mm. Oh. Uh, yes, again? we actually have uh, one of our guys colorblind, and uh, we're testing things on him. All right. But <laughs> yeah, I know there are a lot of. Uh, Different, uh, well, actually, uh, yes, we w we are working on it, and we'll continue uh, to work on that to, to to make things easier for everybody and more comfortable. Uh, so, the, the answer to the question, yes, we will be adding uh, things that uh, will help you be uh, more uh, enjoy the game just as much as yes, the folks that can you. see the colors. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm getting tired already. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. It's all right. Uh, Antragon uh, is giving us a suggestion as well. Uh, well uh, he's virtually as a demand. We need a line indicator. I think that is also uh, no, uh, uh, a line indicator in terms of uh, how much how much of it is out or like a meter. 
Uh, okay, uh, uh, I, I know there is at least one uh, bait caster there with the uh, with the ca uh, counter, mm -hmm. and there'll be more of them in the future. Plus, uh, once again, as I said, we'll be uh, adding some um, uh, different type of uh, Navionics and uh, other equipment. Yeah that might include uh, something like that, yes. All right, all right. All right, guys, that was the last question. Uh, second to last question, I got a question, uh, the final one. Could we perhaps meet in, uh, say, two weeks from now and do another Q&A? Uh, absolutely, absolutely, awesome. lady. Awesome. Yes, let's uh, discuss that in, uh, in, in, I guess, yeah. a couple of yeah. days or in a week or so and uh, sure. see what, what's new in the game. Yeah. And uh, you keep on uh, getting questions from from your viewers, from we'll from everybody. Do. Yeah. Yes, and I'll definitely show up one day to answer them. All right, it's a day. Got it. All right, guys. Thank you for being here, asking and having me. Thank you for uh, being a good viewer, still, lady. <laughs> Yeah, and thank you so much for taking the time and uh, no problem, no problem. to, it's to my answer. Pleasure. Yeah, yeah. All right. We'll let you through now. And All then. right. Thank you. Have <laughs> See fun. you later. Bye bye. bye, -bye. <laughs>